chem exam explained, where the aim is chemistry clarity, exam mastery. In today's video, we will be looking at Cape Chemistry 2007, Unit 1, Module 2, Number 2, Kinetics and Equilibria. Let's go. 2A, methanoic acid, the irritant found in the sting of an ant is a weak acid with an acid dissociation constant Ka of 1.6 times 10 to the minus 4 moles per dm cube. Examine the equation. Part 1. Explain what is meant by the term weak acid. Weak acid is a substance that partially dissociates or ionizes in aqueous solutions. Part 2. Write an expression for the dissociation constant Ka of methanoic acid. So from the equation, we can write the hydroxonium ion and the conjugate base of the methanoic acid. So from the equation, we can see that the methanoic acid is reacting with water, which is now behaving as a base to form the hydroxonium ion and the methanoate ion. So in writing the expression, we can use this concentration. So we can say Ka is equal to the concentration of the conjugate base, which is the methanoate ion, times the hydroxonium ion. So it's a concentration of the methanoate ion times the concentration of the hydroxonium ion divided by the concentration of methanoic acid. So this would be your expression. However, for simplicity, we know that H3O plus is equal to H plus. So we could use that instead of the hydroxonium ion. So you could write this expression or you could write it this way. Part B, a chemist extract the methanoic acid from 40 ants and adds water to make 25 cm cube of a solution Y. He then titrates this solution with 0.05 moles per dm cube standard solution of sodium hydroxide, a strong alkali, to determine the concentration of methanoic acid in solution Y. B, part one. Using bronsted lowry theory, explain what is meant by a strong base. A strong base dissociates completely in water. It is a proton acceptor. So it is very important to say this part, that it is a proton acceptor because that is the bronsted lowry definition of a base. B, part two. Calculate the pH of the standard sodium hydroxide solution. Okay, so we can do this one of two ways. The first way, we could use Kw equal H plus times OH minus concentration. And Kw is a constant, which is 1 times 10 to the minus 14 mole squared per dm6. We know that Kw is 1 times 10 to the minus 14. And we know that the concentration of sodium hydroxide is 0.05. How do we know that? Because sodium hydroxide, when it dissociates, it forms sodium ion plus OH minus ion. So this is the hydroxide ion. The mole ratio between sodium hydroxide and the OH minus ion is 1 to 1. So if the concentration of sodium hydroxide is 0 0.05, then the concentration of the OH minus ions would also be 0 0.05. So we know the molar concentration of sodium hydroxide. And from that, we know the molar concentration of the hydroxide ion. So we, we need to find H plus now, which is 1 times 10 to the minus 14 divided by 0 0.05, which gives us 2 times 10 to the minus 13 moles per dm cube. So that is the molar concentration of H plus ion. Once we know that, we can now find the pH because pH is equal to minus log H plus concentration, which is equal to 12.7. So another way we could work the same problem is by using the OH minus concentration to find POH. So POH is equal to minus log 0.05, which equal 
we can then use the equation pH plus pOH equal 14. Therefore, pH equal 14 minus pOH, which is 14 minus 1.7, which is equal to 12.7. So you could do it this way or this way. Part three, the concentration of methanoic acid in solution Y is found to be 6.0 times 10 to the minus three moles per dm cube. Calculate the pH of solution Y. So from the previous part of the question, we know that Ka is equal to 1.6 times 10 to the minus 14. And we know that the concentration of the methanoic acid is 6.0 times 10 to the minus three. So from the dissociation equation, we know the methanoic acid concentration, but we don't know the concentration of H+. It is very important to note that the H plus concentration is equal to the methanoate ion. So it is C, so it is HCOO minus. So the methanoate ion concentration is equal to the H plus concentration. So from that, we can simply say that these are our unknown. So we could use X times X when we write the Ka expression. These unknowns can be called X or you could use H plus since the HCOO minus concentration is equal to the H plus concentration. Continue with the calculation. We can now use the Ka value and the concentration of the methanoic acid to find the concentration of H plus. So H plus squared is equal to the concentration of methanoic acid times the Ka value. H plus squared is equal to 6.0 times 10 to the minus 3 times 1.6 times 10 to the minus 4. So to find H plus concentration, we must now square root the other side. And it gives us a H plus value of 9.8 times 10 to the minus 4 moles per dm cube. Once we know the H plus concentration, we can now find the pH. And the pH is equal to minus log the H plus concentration, which is 9.8 times 10 to the minus 4. Therefore, pH equals 3. Part 4. Suggest a suitable indicator for the titration between methanoic acid and sodium hydroxide. Now, because we are working with a strong base in case of sodium hydroxide, and a weak acid in case of the methanoic acid, the best indicator would be phenolphthalene. Part five, sketch a graph to illustrate the changes in pH that takes place during the titration. Okay, so to understand how to sketch the graph, let's first look at this simple diagram to the side. Here we have sodium hydroxide in the beeret being added to the methanoic acid in the conical flask. The methanoic acid is a weak acid. Therefore, we're going to start at the weak acid section, which is between, let's say, 5 and 6 for the pH. Now, as you add sodium hydroxide, the pH will steadily increase until there is a jump. And the jump is where you have your equivalence point, where we are saying that the solution is no longer acidic, but now alkaline once it reaches its equivalence point and one drop extra will make it become alkaline. And so the graph is showing that you move from a weak acid and as you add sodium hydroxide and you have that jump, you go to a strong alkali. Part C, ant stings can be treated with baking soda, which is sodium hydrogen carbonate. So just with the aid of an equation, how baking soda helps to relieve the effect of the sting. Well, baking soda helps to relieve the effect of the sting by neutralizing the acid. The equation is sodium hydrogen carbonate plus methanoic acid produces a salt, sodium methanoate plus carbon dioxide and water. Or you could write the same equation, but instead of writing carbon dioxide plus water, you write carbonic acid because carbon dioxide and water forms carbonic acid. This is the end of module two, 2007, number two. Please remember to like, subscribe, and click the notification bell 
so that when new videos are uploaded, you will be notified. Thank you.